Hello, yeah, mashed potato. As you can see, today we had a festival which is called Thai Latin Festival. And uh, today we know I will take you what it looks like and how they're doing in this trip. Also, like, review uh, some history about Latin festival in Thailand too. So, let's go and see together. Yeah, let's go. I want to say that there's a lot of people here and now they're opening the ceremony that's why it's too loud out there Detail. Hello Okay, now we are at the front of the food festival from the four region in Thailand Yes, and inside it's going to have a lot of Thai of food inside Yes, they come from four regions in Thailand Yes. Okay, let's see you. Uh, what kind of food are we going to buy today? I think that it's similar to the night market in Pakhanyang, but uh, maybe have uh, another kind of food more than that we gonna find in the other province. Yes, and what? I feel hungry, so let's take some. Let's get. Let's get some food. Okay. Uh, to sum up with the activity, 
see, you can see in the video, there's a lot of stuff you can do, but mostly it's for kids. And I just found this is very interesting thing that like actually can you they can do here. And as you can see there, they are like doing the festival, like the main thing to do is festival. And YouTube will talk about history, and I just will tell you how that actually works. So let's go to see the history and how we process the ceremony together. This is the main activity of the Wajatong festival. So now we've got the Katong with us and we're gonna like light a fire on the, on the candle and take it to the, to the river. Yeah. So I will like explain you about some of the history of the Wajatong festival. Uh, back to the Skothai Gila from the uh, one wife of the Peruang that before her uh, Nang Nukhamad she is the one who is starting for the uh, Gatong like she de decorates the Gatong that August will tell you about the ingredients about uh, the Gatong and how to no. make Gatong see you later but uh, Nang Nukhamad is starting uh, to do the Gatong for like, uh, sorry, uh, apologize. Oh, yeah, apologize. apologize for the Pame Hong Ka. This is the one of the angel in Thailand that protects about the liver and all of the sea in the world, right? Pame Hong Ka. And also, like, release all, all of the unlocked to the river. Yeah. This is for all of the history of the Wagga Hong Festival. So then I'll just will tell you about the how to make the Hong. The ancient period, the Hong made by uh, banana trees and uh, this one uh, made by banana leaf. Uh, they want to decorate like uh, uh, similar uh, uh, lotus and decorate by a flower. And uh, some uh, five years ago, they want to like decrease the uh, capital cost. They made by the foam, but it's unlucky for the liver, and it's kind of uh, a pollution, uh, water pollution. But right now we should to uh, uh, save the liver by use the uh, organic or use the real nature, uh, and some. Someone want to make by the uh, break uh, to like give the fish or something like that. So now we're gonna light up the uh, the candle and uh, this one because I eat it uh, was gone to pray for uh, what you did has told you. So after we gonna light it up, we gonna send it to the water. Now right, uh, the Thai people uh, used to uh, come with the girls or like uh, girlfriends or boyfriends or like the couple uh, to like they, they think that uh, in the next life they gonna like uh, stay with together. Yeah. But actually, I don't know. Yeah. Just like a date. Let's yeah. See. Just okay for all right. Okay. Stand in the river. Got <laughs> so like uh, now we are going to we are done with the festival and we are on our way home and I'm relieved because the festival already was fun and it was like very lively. It was still very hot and crowded and I'm not really a big fan of that. But I feel like uh, if they, if I actually knew about the history and the significance of this festival. I would have enjoyed it more and there will be more value to the festival as well. So like uh, compared to the Bunis festival, it's like the same thing except it's more crowded and it's like hot because Bangkok only has one season in summer. So like that, uh, the most significant event here is like there's a lot of meat here. It's different for Bhutan because like uh, meat is very rare in Bhutan and it's like only eaten at uh, significant times whereas here like the meat is all over the place. So that would be the most the hugest events and also like I guess in Thailand there's a lot of flies and mosquitoes which makes like, uh, a bit more tedious to go into the festival as well. 
So, but then like overall, I enjoyed the festival as well. But I'm tired and hot now, so we'll be going home, and I'm proud. I'm glad that we're going home now. So that's that's all, and we'll be concluding the video now. So this is uh, all we want to show you about uh, La Chen Festival in Thailand. So in the next kind uh, of we'll talk about uh, festival like the same, like the, nearly the same. Uh, uh, what we call in the body is water festival so can we show you more about it and let's go to see how it looks like in Cambodia bye so hello guys um uh, so today is water festival here in Cambodia it's a long holiday we have like four day off yeah including Sunday so we have four day off and but we still have class in Thailand gone. However, like I'm, today I'm going out with my friends. Uh, they are going to pick me up any time soon. Uh, so I'm just waiting for them. Uh, in the meantime, um, I just wanted to give you a little bit background about Water Festival. So Water Festival in Cambodia, um, it's a festival that is very crowded in the city. Normally with all of the festival, um, you most people would go out to the province and have the trip but this type of festi the water festival people uh, come to the city to see the boat racing event however this year we are not celebrating it due to the COVID pandemic and all that stuff so it's I'm not sure if they have the decoration up or not but if there is I'll try to get the footage um, yeah well uh, we'll see after that so uh, catch up with you guys when I get to where I am and taking you along so our first stop for today is at TWG Botana Capital to have an afternoon tea so we've got our food <laughs> we have some black tea and the green tea and some high tea set with a club sandwich and this is the view that we have and after finish our tea, we decided to go on a little bit shopping and later on that evening, we went up to the sky bar on top of that building called Sora Sky Bar. This sky bar is known to be one of the highest sky bar in Phnom Penh. And this is the view that you can see from this building. It's, you can see the different landmark in Phnom Penh and I actually highly recommend this place if you ever come to visit Phnom Penh. So hello guys, so it's currently around 10 p.m. now in Cambodia and I just got back from hanging out with my friends. So um, I'm so sorry that I didn't get any footage of the festival for you guys because uh, actually they didn't get any decoration up but um, um, they closed the road so that you have to park the car and walk along the riverside and we decided not to do that because we kind of you know, like sick of the riverside uh, because normally um it's because there's no festival so it's just a normal riverside to us Cambodian yeah so um and we went to the sky bar I was expecting to see the firework up there but um we forgot we forgot that today is the second day of water festival and it's called on Bok Day. So this day, uh, the festival uh, will go up at midnight, not at 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. So um, yeah, we just, then we just uh, enjoying the view of the sky bar uh, in Phnom Penh and the, the city life, you know. And yeah, and I hope that you enjoyed this vlog of mine and my team, Mashed Potato and Thank you so much for tuning in and see you guys next week. Bye-bye.